school. This is Claus and I am here to read you a wonderful Christmas story called Hetty's Christmas Gift. Hetty was an artist. She lived in Dolphin Bay. One hot summer morning, just before Christmas, Hetty awoke to some delightful news. Ring, 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 ring. Hello, Hetty speaking. This is London Hospital in England. Congratulations. Your daughter has just had a bouncing baby boy. Wow, that's wonderful news. Thank you. You're welcome. Bye. On the other side of the world, where the winter snow was falling, baby Jack had just been born. Hetty had become a grandmother. She was very excited. That night, Hetty put on a party to celebrate. She invited all her friends. They played patrol, danced on the lawn, and drank Hetty's famous fruit punch. She told everyone proudly, quiet please, I have something important to tell you. Tomorrow, I shall paint my grandson a picture of Christmas. It will be my first gift to Jack. I want it to be very special. The next morning, she took her paints and brushes out onto the front porch. Tom, a retired banker, was passing by on his way for an early morning surf. Hi, you two. Hi, Tom. You can paint Santa. That's a good idea. Hetty waved and nodded. So she painted Santa and his reindeer, making a speedy landing in Dolphin Bay. Santa's sleigh had burned through the dry grass, leaving two huge smouldering scorch marks. The reindeer were falling about in the waves, even Santa had pulled off his heavy boots to paddle in the cold water. Hetty stared at her finished painting. She liked it. It's perfect. Oh, but something was wrong. Uh -oh. She thought about Jack. Snow would be all around Jack's house. Santa's landing would be soft and smooth. The reindeer might even huddle together to keep warm while Santa delivered his present. Oh bother, Hetty murmured to herself. I painted, I've painted Christmas in the summer. Jack's is in the winter. I'll have to paint another. That afternoon, Norma, Hetty's nice but sometimes nosy neighbour, <coughs> leaned over the fence. I think Christmas is all about giving, she said. You can paint all the lovely presents, Hetty thought and nodded. So she painted the presents the children of Dolphin Bay loved most. There was a clean white soft spot inside a fresh leather glove, rosy red rollerblades with matching knee pads, a frisbee to spin on the beach, a fishing rod to take to the wall, an inflatable dinghy, and of course a bodyboard to catch that fast ride in the tide. Hetty stared at her finished painting. She liked it, but something was wrong. <laughs> it would be freezing outside Jack's place. He would always get toys he could play with inside, where it was warm. Presents like train sets, puzzles and snakes and letters. I bother! Empty moment to herself. <laughs> That's twice I've painted Christmas in the summer. Jack's is in the winter. I'll have to paint another. The next day, Sid, who was always going out on his boat, stopped by to give Hetty a crayfish. He'd caught that morning. 
Thank you. Christmas food is what I like best. He said. You could put everyone munching on yummy Christmas trees. That's a good idea. <laughs> so she painted her friends happily eating Christmas dinner on the front lawn. Everyone sat in the shade of the trees, they sipped long, cool drinks, and enjoyed barbecue, seafood, salads, pavlova, and sweet red strawberries. Kitty stared at her finished painting. She liked it, but again, something was wrong. Oh, oh. Table, there would be hot roast turkey, steaming vegetables, and a flaming, flaming Christmas pudding. It would be eaten inside by a roaring fire. Bother, bother, and bother again! Exclaimed Kitty. I keep painting Christmas in the summer. I know Jack's is in the winter. What should I paint now? She painted cows by candlelight. But all the singers were dressed in shorts and t-shirts. In Jack's part of the world, they would need scarves, hats, coats and gloves. Hitsy <laughs> didn't know what to do. Her summer Christmas was so different from the winter Christmas Jack would have. Could she ever paint a Christmas picture? They would both understand. Hetty painted all day. Now it was night time and still. And still she had no Christmas picture she could send to Jack. Feeling sad and tired, she walked down to the beach and sat on the sand to think. The night was still and the stars twinkled brightly. Hetty stared at them for a long time. Slowly, an idea crept into Kitty's mind. She began to smile. Kitty, she said to herself, I do believe you've done it. She jumped up and rushed back home. She brushed boldly and hummed happily. It was late in the night when Kitty stared at her finished painting. She loved it. <laughs> To my dear grandson Jack, your Christmas in the winter is so different from my Christmas in the summer, so I've painted you this special Christmas picture that we can both share. Happy Christmas, little Jack. All my love, Hetty. Kiss, kiss.